peripheral nerve stimulation. We're gonna talk about peripheral nerve stimulation today. The great thing about the field of neuromodulation, which includes spinal cord stimulation, intrathecal pumps, and peripheral nerve stimulation, is that the technology continues to improve. For the longest time, we've had a struggle in trying to provide better care for patients who have specific smaller or peripheral ner nerves that are irritated and not responding to traditional surgery, nerve blocks, and or medications. So specifically, we're talking about the shoulder, the groin, and the knee. In the shoulder, we have the suprascapular nerve, and that's the scapular, the suprascapular nerve goes right around the suprascapular notch that we can identify under x-ray. In the groin, we have the ilioinguinal nerve, and that nerve supplies the groin itself. It can be injured with hernia repair or any type of abdominal surgery. And then we have the genicular nerve and the infrapatellar nerves around, above and below the knee itself. Now, when orthopedic surgeons operate on these joints or these areas, they may not always get the type of relief they're looking for. And these patients then develop chronic pain or they may have patients who are not fit for surgery. They may be too young, they can't undergo surgery, they can't undergo a joint replacement, which may only have a lifespan of 10 or 15 years. So if someone's too young, the surgeons usually say, try to do everything else and avoid the re joint replacement because we don't wanna have to revise a total knee replacement, a total shoulder replacement, because it becomes very technically difficult to do so. So more recently, the FDA has approved peripheral nerve stimulation, which is fantastic for us because it gives us an opportunity to give patients another type of treatment when the orthopedic colleagues cannot provide a, a treatment solution that can give them some long-lasting relief. So the suprascapular nerve is a nerve that supplies the shoulder. The ilioinguinal nerve is a nerve that supplies the groin. And the genicular and infrapatellar nerves are nerves that supply the knees. These nerves can all be blocked. We can anesthetize them, we can use steroid, we can do a nerve block and see how much relief they get. If the patient gets long-lasting relief, then we're great. But if the relief is only short-lived or if they don't get relief, then another option could be peripheral nerve stimulation. In the knee, we can actually do uh, radiofrequency ablation if they don't respond to radiofrequency ablation, then we can go to peripheral nerve stimulation. That's not something we're gonna talk about patients with for groin pain or shoulder pain. So in general, with peripheral nerve stimulation, we wanna do, we wanna identify the nerve that's causing the problem. So in the shoulder, it's suprascapular nerve. In the groin, it's the ilioinguinal nerve. And in the knee, it's the genicular and infrapatellar nerves. We can block those nerves as step one. If they don't get long-lasting relief, then we can use a peripheral nerve stimulator to try to block the nerve pain and improve functionality. That stimulator is first done by a trial or a test, and it's done through a small needle. It's done under x-ray guidance. The procedure itself takes about five minutes to do. We identify the specific nerve location under x-ray. We place a needle right, right around where that nerve is, we slide an electrode which has electrical contacts and we take the needle out. We tape the wire to the skin and the patient has a programmer that they go home with. We try this out for three to five days and we're looking for about 50% improvement. If they have 50% improvement in pain and functionality, then we go ahead and say this is a successful trial. But we can go ahead and now recommend permanent implantation. And the permanent implantation is very similar to the trial, except we have a generator that also gets implanted. Uh, this has been very successful with lots of patients. It's something that really truly gives patients additional hope when traditional surgery may or may not be an option or has not provided them the results they were hoping for. If you're interested in learning more about pain and spine specialists or how we can help you, please go to our website to learn more about our locations and give us a call.